25. Calculate the force of a 70 kilogram high jumper uh, must exert on the ground to produce an upward acceleration four times the acceleration due to gravity. All right, so let's detail it with a free body diagram. So we have a uh, jumper, correct? And uh, so let's just say this dot in the middle represents the jumper. Now, since we're talking about jumping off the ground, right? This is a problem in the y direction, and therefore you must always talk about the weight, the force uh, due to gravity on the object itself when you're describing these problems. So let me do that first. Okay, so this jumper has a certain weight, right? The weight of that jumper is going to be equal to the mass multiplied by gravity. So let's just simply calculate that first. So the mass is 70, right? Kilograms, gravity is 9.80. So the weight of this jumper is simply going to be 70 times 9.8, so 686. So we have 686 newtons. Okay, now that's the weight of gravity pulling down, uh, or the force of gravity pulling down on uh, the jumper. Okay, but now it says that the uh, jumper wants to accelerate upwards, right? An upward acceleration, so therefore uh, we're going to have an A in the positive y direction, right? That's gonna be some number. Now remember that if I have an acceleration in the positive y direction, I must have a total net force also pointing up. Okay, so right now all I have is a force pointing down and it's this value. So therefore, the force that's pointing up, we should anticipate should be bigger, right? Than this value, okay? So just keep that in mind. Now, uh, this force, right? So they, uh, let me see, four times the acceleration due to gravity. Okay, so the force here, they want us to calculate. Okay, so that's the question mark. So just to go back, actually, when I said I don't know the acceleration, I do know it, I just have to read a little closer. Okay, it says the upward acceleration four times the acceleration due to gravity. So I actually do know this acceleration, right? The acceleration is going to be four times gravity. Simple enough. So the acceleration that this jumper wants to experience is going to be 4 times 9.8. In other words, 39.2 .2 meters per second squared. So I know the acceleration. Okay. So now, what can I do? I can now set this problem up. Right. These are all the forces that are acting on this jumper here. It's just the weight of the jumper. Okay, and then the force that the jumper is going to apply to the ground so that he propels himself upward. Okay, so meaning the force that the ground is going to impart on him is in the upward direction. Okay, we only care about forces imparted to the jumper. The jumper exerts a force down on the ground, but then the ground exerts that same, that equal but opposite force up on the jumper. So I'm only concerned about the force on the jumper, not on the ground. That's why it's pointing up. So, not to belabor the point, uh, we're going to be using some of the forces in the y direction. Okay, is equal to the mass of the object that's accelerating multiplied by the acceleration in the y direction. So, what are the forces in the y direction? We got this force pointing up and the weight pointing down. And that shall equal the mass of the object, which was 70 kilograms, multiplied by the acceleration, which is 39.2, right? And I do know the weight, right? I calculated that before, so let me just actually simply plug that in here. Okay, so that's just gonna be minus uh, 686. Okay, so how do I solve it? Simply just take this, 686, and add it to the, multiple, the product of those two numbers. All right, so the force is going to be 70 times 39.2 plus 686. Right, and this should make sense. The force is going to be 3,430 newtons. And if you look, I had to add the two forces together, right? I had to add the force to accelerate a 70 kilogram mass by this acceleration. And then not only did I have, did the object have to accelerate itself um, in that way, it also had to overcome the acceleration due to gravity. So that's why I had to add it then. The math is telling me to add it but it should make sense. All right. So guys, that's the answer. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. Tell your friends, tell everyone, mom, dad, sister, brother, anyone, everyone. 
If you haven't spoken to that uncle you haven't spoken to in a while, give him a call. Say, hey, got these cool videos out there. They're doing all, every problem from every open stacks textbook. <laughs> all right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you guys. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next lesson.